We're going to turn to our next guest, former Philadelphia Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs assistant coach Eugene Chung, who says a former player and coach in the NFL told him he's, quote, not the right minority. This was while he was interviewing for a job in the offseason. Here to tell us more in an exclusive GMA3 interview is Coach Eugene Chung. Coach Chung, thank you for being with us. And yes, okay, so the most recent thing you've heard, you were not the right minority for this coaching position, but it certainly and unfortunately was not the first racist remark you've endured. Give us a sense of what it's been like for you in your career. You know, it's, it's something that's always been said to me um, just throughout the years. We don't view you as minority. Um, or you're not the right minority. So that being said, it, it was kind of, it was very shocking to me. So that's why I'm, I'm coming out. Um, you know, I shared with the Boston Globe panel that, you know, these things were said to me. I was just sharing my experiences uh, throughout, you know, throughout my career, throughout my coaching career. So just bringing light to it and just knowing that we just want an opportunity. We're not looking for any type of special treatment or anything like that. It's just we want the same opportunities that everyone else has. But Coach, you were very particular about this. You, you don't want to out the person. You don't want to say um, who it was that said these things to you. Why is it you want to keep that uh, to yourself? Well, you know, nothing good will come of that. There's no, there's no relevance on who said it or when it was said. I mean, it's been said to me multiple times. Um, you know, and I think the director, uh, there was no there was no derogatory uh, tone or spirit behind it. It was just telling me, as a matter of fact, well, you're not viewed as a minority or you're not the right minority, I think were the, the words. So, you know, bringing, bringing that person to light, it's not going to solve anything. What I want to do is I just want to fix the problem. I want to unite. I don't want to cause any more uh, uh, division or dissension amongst the people in the NFL. The NFL is great. So I, I want to fix and unite everybody um, that's going through this. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's such a valid point. And the NFL has put policies in place, uh, like the Rooney Rule. It requires every team, when they're looking with a head coaching, general manager, or front office vacancy, when they've got to fill that spot, that they have to at least interview uh, people of diverse backgrounds. Do you support that? What can be done to fix the problem of representation? Uh, right. I mean, the Rooney World Rule, the spirit of the Rooney Rule was always put in uh, to, to do good, to give other people opportunities. I think maybe it just needs to be revised a little bit or to actually listen and find out what the actual language is of that, what it's meant to be a minority or who are the minorities. So with that, I mean, that being said, it's just this is an opportunity to kind of, you know, regroup and readjust to everything and then really put it out there and redefine what's the narrative of, of the Ruby rule. I mean, I, I, I embrace I, I embrace NFL. I embrace their diversity, their inclusion, everything with that. I have nothing bad to say. I've worked with some great owners in this league who, who embrace that also. I just think that when a, a, a comment like that was made, um, that there was some type of narrative behind it. So let's find out what that is and break down all those barriers, break down all those walls and unite everybody so it's harmonious, not just on the sports platform, but the country as a whole, with everything that's going on, the climate of the country, you know, all the Asian hate crimes. Let's bring everybody together and unite everybody. Football is a game that brings everyone together on Sundays. It doesn't matter what nationality, age, race, uh, gender, it brings people together on Sundays and Saturdays in college football. So let's use this platform and use it for the best of, of the country and, and all of humanity worldwide. Um, we do want to say what the uh, NFL did tell us in a statement that we will review the matter. That comment is completely inappropriate and contrary to league values and workplace policies. Where do you go from here? I know you've gotten a lot of uh, positive feedback from coaches and um, players um and being supportive of you but um but where do we go from here to where we anytime we're oftentimes in the nfl we're talking about the coaching ranks and diversity that oftentimes means they're trying to get more african americans uh into those ranks it sounds like you're trying to expand people's uh thoughts about what it means when we talk diversity whether it's nfl or anywhere else Sure, you know, and and all, uh, you know, and everyone that has reached out to me, it's it's all been uh, fantastic. It's been positive, and they're just asking. Look, we just want a fair chance, also, you know, regardless of, of what it is. Just give us a fair chance. <laughs> give it, look at us as a qualified candidate, not our skin color, our race, our gender. You know, if there's a candidate out there that's you know qualified, regardless of of their their race, their creed, their religion, they should they should they should get the job.
hands down. That's how I feel. So we go from here is that I think it just needs to be defined. The narrative needs to be defined and the directives need to be defined in a clear cut uh, angle. Um, so going from there, and it's just bringing awareness. Um, no one knew that this was going on, but this has been happening to me for years. And uh, with everything that was going on, I, I thought it was time for me to share, just share my experience. I have no ultimatum, no, no motive behind it, but just other than sharing my experiences. You know, Coach, we can we can tell that, we can feel mm -hmm. that, we can we can feel your genuineness and, and and where your motives lie, and and we appreciate you coming out and and talking about this because it can't be easy to do, but the conversation is the way we start the healing. So, Coach Eugene Chunk, mm -hmm. thank you so much. We appreciate your time today. We wish you the very best. Right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.